Hi everybody, it's Janice from Ferris Farm again. Um, I'm here to show you how to put together a two head. Um, this can be used for two head, three head, four head. Um, it's, it's just a lot of people are getting stuck at the end. So I'm going to give you a real quick show on how to do it. Um, right now I have it basically torn apart until we're getting down to um, the last spacers on and the beak. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Hopefully you can see well. Okay, I'm gonna move this beak over. And this was a 10 head, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove these screws from the 10 head, okay? And right now, since I'm making it into a two, I wanna make sure I have uh, 10 of the number six plates uh, to put on. So I'm gonna take this particular um, 10 piece off. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna slide this piece off this way. Now this is very important to make sure that you don't let this get um, out of line. Um, and you put this piece on. as you can see it's getting a little bit out of line for me so I have to push it back a little bit like that and get it on so it's on both the bottom and the top and once you get it locked in get it so it's lined up here now you want to make sure it's lined up on the top in that little arrow hole area I think you can see there and I always screw in the top first. You can do the bottom first, it doesn't really matter. And then I wanna make sure it lines up with this hole down here. Now this is very important to do because if you don't, then you are gonna be putting the thing together and it's gonna move everywhere for you and you don't want that. Okay, so this is getting two beaks and 10 spacers. So since I already left my beak on, I'm gonna leave that there, okay? So what do I need to do? is I need to go ahead and put on, because in between each beak should be five spacers, right? So I'm gonna put a spacer on. I'm gonna move it this way. Put another spacer on, move it that way. Another spacer, move it that way. So now we've gotten three. Okay. Another spacer on, move it that way. Okay, and this is our fifth spacer. Now, oops, that one fell off. Okay. Three, four, and five. All right, and here's where I'm gonna put another beak on. Now, when I put this beak on, I'm gonna get it in there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and don't be worried about damaging it, because I pretty much hit on these things pretty good, but we wanna make sure that while we're doing this is we're making sure there's no gapping between here, here, and here, because this needs to be on there pretty good. And I like to do that a couple times just to get it so it's stuck there. All right. So then I put that. My next one will go on. Sorry, I'm getting out of the picture. I'm not trying to. Okay, and then this one will go on. Put this one on. Okay, now we're to the last one. And this is where some people have some problems. And I can understand why. See how this is like not wanting to get quite there so once again I'm hitting there trying to push it down in and once I get it so it's a little bit down in I go ahead and thread my screw in see and I use that screw to pull it down in I get that in a fair amount and then I put the other one in so it basically it's tightening everything down in Okay. 
head. And now we have built a two head. You can see both beaks. And at this point in time, then you can put your um, things back on. Now, if you're using a two head, I definitely recommend putting on at least four of these. Because if you don't, you're going to be going up and down, up and down, up and down. So I hope that gives you an idea of what we need to do. So if you have any questions, please just give me a call at 724-971-0888 or email me at Janice, which is J-E-A-N-I-C-E at ferrisfarm.net. And I'll help you out the best I can. Thank you.